welcome to Lauren Foster's where we talk about all things foster care and adoption related and it has been so long. Like I have taken the longest break from this channel and I apologize. If you haven't uh, been watching my videos or you haven't looked at some of the older ones or maybe you're new to this channel, um, first off, welcome. Second off, my husband deployed back in May. So for those of you who are meeting me for the first time, I'm an adoptive foster, well, I was a foster mom who became an adoptive mom. Uh, I have 10 kids, so six of my kids have been adopted out of the foster care system. So I tend to speak through that lens and also the lens of being former foster youth myself. I aged out of foster care when I was 18 years old and had graduated high school. But I am also a military wife and um, that has been the biggest life change. Uh, we PCS'd to a new duty station maybe about a year and a half ago or so, and then my husband deployed in May. So because of that, I have been not only busy, but just overwhelmed. And I would say more than anything, it has just been an emotional kind of roller coaster. I don't, I don't know. Here's the update. Uh, so we've actually done really well. This is not the first time my husband has deployed. He's been in the army over 18 years. And so he's done de other deployments before. And then about four years ago or so, he left and went to Turkey for a year. So eight of my kids, so four of my adopted kids, four of my bio biological kids, have gone through a deployment before, but this was the first deployment for a couple of my newer kiddos. Um, we adopted out of age order. My two youngest to the family, but some of my older kids that were adopted are actually teenagers. So this was their first time being part of this whole military world. They PCS with us, so they've had a taste of the army for a while, the community we adopted them in is a military community. So they've seen some of that world um, where people come and go and they have say goodbye to a lot of military friends and, and make new friends uh, through the military all the time. But moving with us to our new duty station was their first like real military experience. And then dad deploying was the next. So um, everyone is handling it well compared to the last time my husband was gone. Like I mentioned, he had gone to Turkey at some point um, a few years back and that was really really rough we had we were just on the heels of a really recent adoption for a couple of what I call my middle boys and things were still really really hard things were really fresh for everybody I had kids that were just trying to figure it out I had a couple biological kids that had at that point never gone through a deployment or um, dad being gone for that long and at that time I also had a couple of kids who had been through dad's deployments but it had been years and years so it still felt really fresh and new and I will say at that time we struggled I mean like I needed therapy my kids needed therapy everybody needed therapy biological kids adopted kids it was a really really rough time and I even kind of say sometimes like even talking about that time it almost gets me choked up because I feel like we almost it was almost too much like we I had to sell the house by myself with eight kids at my ankles, you know, needing mom's attention at all times. And, and it was just, it was a lot. And I only bring that up to say that this time, I feel like we're all handling it pretty well. And we're only a few months in or a couple months in. I, we did the math. I think we're like a third of the way in. We're okay. And I, it's, you know, we don't love my husband any less. They, kids don't love dad any less. And I'm probably busier than we were back then. Like looking at what life was like back then, it was chaotic. I, we are involved in a lot. We do, we do a lot in the community. You know, we're just busy all the time. But now we've added sports. There's more kids. You know, we, we do a couple of extra things we weren't doing back then. And yet somehow it's okay. Um, I don't really know how else to explain it uh, other than that we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay right now. Anyway, um, for all you military families out there that might also have spouses gone, kids gone, maybe you're the parent of a soldier that is deployed. Um, we are right here with you. We are struggling with you. It is very, very hard to be away from your soldier. Oh, I'm gonna cry even talking about it. I know it's very hard to be away from your soldier, um, but please know you're not alone. We're, there's a lot of us in the waiting game right now. I have a lot of friends whose husbands are about to go away for a while. I have a good friend whose husband's going away for the very first time and it's so hard. My heart goes out to people that haven't done this before, especially just because I know that first time everything is so new and so you just don't know, even know what to expect. You don't know how to handle the things that arise. 
you've got kids, maybe you have some questions you don't know how to answer, um, and it's hard. I remember my first deployment super duper well. It was, it was very, it was a very rough season for me. A lot of growth came out of it though. Um, so, uh, you know, trying to look at those hard moments, like growth moments, I think are so important. But anyway, I'll make a whole separate video about being a military wife, which I realize has nothing to do with foster care. So once again, if you're new here, I've got a ton of other videos on here about foster care and adoption, especially um, how to start the process. I, I try to make sure that there's a lot of that already in there and I think I've even gone and gone through that a couple times at this point. Check out some of my older videos. I will be, I will try to be better about posting new videos, but I make no promises. I've said that in the past and then had to go like gaps of time where I just can't do it. There's not a free moment. Uh, just even the time it takes to get a camera set up or even a phone set up, I, I just don't have it in me. I just can't. And, so I'm trying to be, right now, I'm trying to be real protective of my time and my emotional availability. I want to be able to be the best mom I can for my kids. And, um, and, and part of that means that I have to lay down things I would normally do, the things that I love. Like I love making videos talking about my experience being former foster youth and also what it was like for us to be foster parents and, and, adopt, and adopt through foster care. But I do have to lay all that down because the kids in my house, my 10 kids, are my top priority. So anytime I can focus on them, I'm going to be doing that. So if my videos are slow coming, I encourage you to just hang in there with me. Um, my husband should be home uh, late winter, it looks like. And um, as soon as he's home, I will try to get better about getting things on here. Uh, but until then, um, hang on. Go on the journey with me. If you're a military spouse, if you are um, a military mom, a military dad, maybe you're an older military kid that's on here or you lived through it. You were like, hey, I grew up being a kid in the military. Feel free to comment below and encourage my kiddos. Um, I have kids ages 19 down to nine years old and everything in between. And some of them have experienced a lot of this and some of this feels really fresh to a few of them. So I'm sure they could use a ton of encouragement if you have that to share. And any wisdom you have, this isn't my first rodeo on any of this. It doesn't get easier, I don't know, for military wives that are like, hey, does this get easier? Because if this is how hard this is and how bad it hurts, I don't wanna do this anymore. And my encouragement there is just that it doesn't get easier to miss your spouse. Like you, you're always going to miss them. That part's always gonna be hard, but you have more wisdom. Like I know, for example, I know to, that when my husband's deployed, I need to stay really, really busy. You know, that's just something a spouse's try to do, um, especially if we've done this quite a bit or we know they're going to be gone quite a lot, you know, just getting really involved in things so that the time feels like it goes a little faster. You gain a little more wisdom, but it just it doesn't get easier per se, I hate to say, but um, I guess you get more used to it. That's the way I'll put it. But um, feel free to share your experience down below um, and encourage my young people especially, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.